What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. Now in today's video it's going to be very sort of bodybuilding focused. We're going to be in the gym, we're going to be doing a chest, well push day with chest emphasis walkthrough. And can the cameraman is coming over to train with me and help me film as well. So unfortunately if that kind of video isn't for you then I'll see you next time. But if it is then stay tuned, sit back, relax and let's make some gains. Jumping straight in with the best press today guys, starting off with just a bar, doing my general mobility stuff that you see me doing in every single video guys, moving on to 40 kilos, then on to 60, then on to 3 working sets of 80 kilos. Not going to lie guys, I had a shit first set, I only got 5 or 6 reps, but that was just because I think I didn't take long enough, take enough care, warm enough, and I just knew, I told myself at the end of the first set that I would have a better second set, I don't know, I don't know whether it was that mental strength that I had that helped me get out the extra couple of reps or a placebo, I don't know what, but somehow managed to get a couple of reps out second set. <laughs> Next exercise of today's push day is a military press, overhead press, whatever you want to call it. It's one of my favorite movements because it's actually one of my strongest. Today, again, I struggled on the first set. I don't know what it was, whether it was because of jet skiing yesterday or what I kind of think I'm kind of just thinking of excuses really, just for having a shit first set. There's no excuses, guys. You just got to power through, concentrate on that form, and if you really have to, sometimes you do just have an off day and lower that weight. Focus on controlled, nice and easy reps to get the most out of the movement. Next exercise, moving straight on to another compound, one that I haven't done a lot on this channel, I think probably once or twice at the most, but something I've really enjoyed doing lately, thanks to Cam, the cameraman, it was his, his, his idea to incorporate this into the push day, taking a little bit of a rest after the shoulder press, we're going straight into these dips. There's two ways you can do this, a little bit more upright, which uses just a little bit more tricep, or you can lean forward ever so slightly, which incorporates a little bit more chest. I tend to prefer to lean forward a little bit just because I find it eases off the shoulders and the elbows a little bit more, but that's just me. Again, what I say in pretty much every single video, guys, you've got to find out what works for you and then just stick to that. Just another little update, guys. I actually woke up this morning a little bit heavier. I have no idea why, whether it's a little bit of water retention or what, but today I was actually heavier than my lowest of 176.6. I've not let that get to my head. Just kind of still enjoying the workout, just telling myself that, I don't know, it's a little bit of water weight or something that will go away eventually, especially with hard work, consistency, keeping that cardio up, keeping that training up, keeping the high intensity, burning as many calories as we possibly can, guys, before I beat her. What's essential for this next movement of incline bench is making sure everything is in just the right place and just it's just perfectly accessible for you to not injure yourself. What I did before is just test with just the bar, just to test the bench and the rack and everything was in the right place. And actually, because there's no sort of numbers or anything like that, it can be difficult for me to remember what goes where for what exercise. And so what I did was just test with just the bar and actually had to move it down a little bit because I was ending up having to reach, which could have led to a bad injury, especially when you got something like 60 kilos on the bar. So take care guys, take your time because you cannot make gains if you're not in the gym. And who wants to say they injure themselves on a warm-up? The thing I love about these workouts guys, these push-pull legs routine, is that we get to do so many compounds all in one exercise routine guys. Because what have we done so far? We've done dips just now, we're doing incline, we've had flat, we've had military press that's four compound exercises and then we get to move on to my favorite of all time chest flies so this next movement as I just said is one of my favorites if not my favorite of all time guys just because of the feel and the pump you get in the chest that is cable flies you can do these at different heights people like to come from right at the top some people like to do it from right at the bottom I sort of like to do it around about shoulder height maybe a touch above just feels that I get slight less strain on my shoulder, feels that like I can actually focus on the movement and get the most out of it. So really holding that squeeze one, two, feeling the real good pump in the chest for the entire movement, guys. And then straight away after that, we're gonna just rest 60 seconds. We've actually got to move on to rear delt flies. And why is that, guys? Why are we doing an almost kind of pulling movement? Because this is actually a push day, not just an upper body day or whatever, or any just regular bro split workout. This is a push workout where you work the muscles that you push. So what's that? Your chest and your shoulders. On the shoulder emphasis day, we will do lateral raises and more military press and all that kind of stuff. But just to make sure we hit the entire focus muscles of this workout, we have to do some rear delt flies. Very, very, very important for those 
full round shoulder aesthetic look and for preventing shoulder injury as well guys so be sure to hit those rear delts a lot of people tend to forget them finishing off today's session with a good old bicep tricep superset you guys have seen it a thousand times on the channel so far what i'm doing is 30 kilos on the straight bar here and supersetting that with the v-bar on the cables over there so what that does is just gives you a full nice full arm pump leaves you feeling leaves you leaving the gym feeling good feeling full feeling fresh and just feeling <sighs> said feeling too many times the reason i like to do this as opposed to just focusing on triceps with it obviously being a chest day people generally kind of bro fit bro split is chest and triceps i prefer just to because you're using your arms in all of the compound movements that we've done so far i tend to just focus on biceps and triceps and just do one one or two exercises for each that personally for me is just a better way and allows me to make the most out of it a little bit more because if I do five tricep exercises at the end of a chest day, then they're gassed and you end up just doing half reps, you end up cheating, and you end up just not really getting as good of a pump. So I'd rather split the arm exercises up over all of the workouts rather than sort of gas them out all in one workout. So, but that's just me. Again, find what works and then just carry on doing that, guys. That's, I can emphasize that in every single video and I think I do, but it works. So just find what works for you and then stick with that, guys. So that's gonna round off today's workout round off today's video thank you so much if you made it this far guys as always remember no regrets drop the video a like and a comment down below i'll see you guys in the next video